Welcome back. So version 1.10 has landed, full version, no more beta. Little underwhelming. There's a few cool new features, but most of it is background stuff for uh, Dream Tonics to create better um, algorithms. Uh, that being their RLHF, which effectively is, you know, you say, I don't like this so much and I want to try new takes. So I generate a bunch of takes and then I go, oh, I like take four. And when I add the heart, that sends a message to the mothership and the mothership makes note of the squiggle that you liked. And they're going to collate these to introduce the new version of this enhancement slider. My enhancement is still grayed out because I'm still with the 109 voice, but I will switch to 110 in a second. On that note, with this, if I change my database version to 110 and this comes alive, that means I can now generate new takes. So say I like this, I've now got enhancement sliders, which basically will blend in what they're collecting from the database for people's submissions. And to be honest, it, so far, it looks like they just like your classic sine wave warble, which I absolutely hate, but there you go. But at least you can dial some in, which is kind of good. So I can dial half in and say, ah, that's probably okay. Let's have a listen to that. Feels right. That's fine. To be honest, I'm, I'm happy with this and this particular song. What's with the expression here? Anyway, so it offers a lot, a lot of new options per take because you've got your pitch control, a range of expressiveness, and then you can mix in the enhancement from the RLH, RLHF. So, yes, a useful addition. Probably going to take a little time before it gets refined while people submit their favorites. Boing. Thank you for your feedback. So back to 109. This is the database I was using when I created this cover of Chardet's Paradise. And let's just play that. And then I'm going to follow with the version 110 playing straight after. Feels like you're mine. Feels right. Feels like you're mine. Feels right. Okay. Well, this is the obvious first problem. I don't like that at all, but I do have some control of it now. Um, hang on. Vibrato modulation. I can do that. I noticed the T on the end of feels right sounded a little different between version 109 and version 110. Obviously there's been a little more going on than just this database thing and the, and the colors. Did I mention the colors? Yeah. Nice to see them, but not quite. It's going to be wish list number three, I think, to get, remind them that these staying the same color all the time is not overly useful. I don't know which one I'm looking at. I have to figure it out by going elsewhere to look and then remember it. And that's two tasks I don't really want to do. When I flick to a track, I want to see the color of the track. Simple, right? Um, you don't have to think then. You can carry on working. Right now, I have to think, and I don't like thinking. <laughs> okay. Okay, the other new feature is Shift Lyrics. Does what it says on the tin. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So I grab these, and I want to shift them back one. So I go modify, shift the lyrics backward. And now... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm sure there'll be a time when I'm glad of this feature, but for the moment, there's a lot of other things I would have left to see first. And the last new feature on version 1.10 is the ability now to drag and drop MIDI into a plugin version of Synthesizer V. So I'll open that. So let's move that here. And I got this MIDI I want to play in. So I can just drag and drop it. 
create new tracks. Okay. Now, because my vocal didn't start until later, and plus I, I have an offset on my project, these are not actually in time. So if I go to the beginning of the project and hit go, it starts playing straight away. So you have to actually remember to start from zero. So I'm going to drag this to zero, the MIDI file, drop it in here, create new tracks. Okay. This track, uh, this track here will be Solaria and this can be deleted. And just for fun, I'm going to change the color because we can. Let's go purple. Oh, but yeah. Okay. So now it's in there. I can do the usual stuff. And when I press play in Cubase, it'll run. I have one I prepared earlier. Let's undo that. Let's open that up. This one can go away. And you may recognize the tune. Oh, baby, baby, how was I supposed to know? So it's kind of useful, like I'm messing around with um, a plug-in chain on the voice and that. And while while you're working, it's it's actually kind of useful at times because you can audition uh, level problems while you're working. So it's kind of handy, but I don't think the integration's tight enough yet. So it's a no from me. But since you've made it this far, I'm going to um, add a little little extra tip that I haven't done yet anywhere else. And that is, what do you do when you want to do a singer who has affectations or little quirks, like um, I call them grunts, <laughs> you know, like, huh, e, ooh, ah, like that. Um, this is a Britney tune and she does it a lot. So let's just play this. Oh, baby, baby, how was I supposed to know? So you hear those little errors at the end. Let's just mute that. So I've got this one. And then I have another one later. Let's try to get, there we go. Right. So they're as simple as they look. We will just go back to the original Vox here and expand this a bit. Okay. So I use the other track to uh, guide me when I'm making a, adjustments to here. So I'm going to add in a little blip there. That's a lot at the moment. I'm just going to make it an A, just A. And I've, my library is set so that I get an AX, not an AE. And that sounds like, uh, well, what you'd expect it to sound like. Let's just delete this for a second. Baby, uh, baby. Uh. So it sounds like a, uh, but we want it to be more like an ah. So that's where the parameter editing of voicing comes in. Because you can get like a whisper effect by doing this. So with voicing selected, I've already got my range there. So I can just double click and add a point and drag that down. And if I drag it all the way down, it's literally going to go full whis whisper mode here. Oh, baby, baby. Right? And if you want a little bit more, say, the voice in there, you know, not just all the breath, you can just come up. Oh, baby, baby. Uh, and that's quite a, an effective version of uh, what Brittany does in these bits. And then I'll add another one here. And yeah, let's turn the snap off. But this time, I've already got my um, my voice my voicing reduced to below the midpoint. This time I'm going to do a ha. And in fact, a good tip is to use the word before as you, the last words to know. So off, off the no, because the singers formed a W already, chances are they're going to go wah at the end. It sort of works sometimes, but weirdly enough, if you type in wah here, you get, you still get H H and then Wa. So I'm just going to do the H H A, and you get H H and A A, and it sounds like this. To know. So it still sounds kind of like an ah, and there's a bit of a thunk on the front of it, which you could either adjust with loudness here or just edit it when you get the um, 
audio file into your DAW. It's far easier to take out that little thump. You don't want to stretch it to attach to the word before because that takes away the impact. To know her, to know her. Right. And, you know, I could exaggerate this and mush this a little further. See how that sounds. To know her, to know her, to know her. So it's smoother, but the problem is, is you get, um, it's starting too early. I actually need this to start later because it's like a, you know, to know, ha, to know ha. this. To know. And I try putting blank piece in between. That doesn't help. I suppose you could actually try putting a, like just a regular, uh, breath in there with an HH, an HH breath style breath because they're very quiet and then join these together and see how that goes to know that's not bad and then i can just shorten that a bit to know yes yeah, good so without the voicing it doesn't really work right check it out to know to know let's go halfway to know, to know. Okay, it's not bad. So let's try it with the with the uh, piano again. Oh baby, baby, how was I supposed to know? Yeah, I think it's better with a gap in there and just do a little bit of editing. But here's something you may not have known before. Now you do. That's it for the version 1.10 update. See you soon.